All right, guys. Uh, this is Kano Flash again. Um, the one thing you might notice now is that the quality of this video is gonna be very low. That's because it's taken from a live stream that I did. So you're actually listening to me talk in real time during the live stream event. Um, I'm not actually live live streaming. What I'm doing is I'm using XSplit and then doing a local recording, so the video quality is gonna be lower. But it's just easier for me now because. I don't have to deal with the uh, recording and then rendering of the video. I can just upload the entire video all at once. So um, anyways, today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you guys a barbarian farming guide for 1.03. A lot of stuff has been nerfed now so it should be much easier for you to gear up. And basically as a barbarian, what you want to focus on is life on hit as well as your resistances. So to show you guys what I'm talking about, um, here I'm just showing you my gear just so you can see what I'm using. Um, so here I'm just using a standard 76 resistance helmet, no socket or anything like that. You don't really need a socket. Um, here I'm using just, you know, the basic standard amulet with just life on hit reduction of control impairment and then socket where I put a um, radiant amethyst in just for that extra health here again extra health and health globes all resist vitality vitality strength um, all resistance and then actually I think that might be the wrong chest there we go that's the right chest um, yeah there you go. I'm actually not sure about these two. These are my magic fine gloves, but they're actually, I feel like they're better because of the resistances, but you just lose a lot of vitality. So I'm, right now I'm looking for better gauntlets, but the ones I'm using right now, they're not bad. The bracers, you know, just standard vitality, all resist, all resist, strength. Um, as a barbarian, what you really want to focus on is the vitality, strength, and life on hit. Those are your, the main stats that you're looking for. So you can see here, just all resistance. Now here's something I wanna talk about. Um, this is really important, your shield. Honestly, in my opinion, as a barbarian, you do not want to have a shield with less than 25% chance to block. It doesn't really matter what the other stats are, so long as you have a high block chance. This block chance is going to save you a lot of headache in the later acts. In Act 2, I was in a public game because none of my friends were on at the moment. And, like, those snakes, I was taking them for about 7 minutes before they enraged and killed me. Simply because of the amount of times I was blocking and because of my revenge and life on hit. So I mean, this is really important. You should focus on having high block chance on your shield. And then here I just have a standard. This isn't really optimal. Um, what you wanna look for is about 800 life on hit with your sword. But like these items I'm showing you here, I spent about 200K on them over the course of like a week. So those of you who who just got into Inferno, this is really a build that's optimal for you. You can get this in like your first week of playing Inferno. So I mean, you can have Act 1 on farm status, which I have on farm status, within like two or three days at this point, simply because of how cheap gear is. All the gear that I bought here, I bought for 10k a piece. So I mean, it's not that hard to gear up and then you can just farm, get item level 63 items and then sell them on the auction house. But anyways, so you can see here, um, where's my life steal? Um, life per hit, 237. So each time I hit an enemy, um, I get 237. And then this is why revenge is so good, because revenge gives you health for each enemy you hit, and then you also factor in this, you're getting even more HP. I get about 6k HP each time I hit something with revenge. Um, Anyways, now we're going to move on to our skills. So what I have here is Frenzy with Sidearm. Sidearm is very useful. Um, it really helps 
when you're fighting a group of monsters because the projectiles will go and hit the other enemies and they hit pretty decently. Here I have Furious Charge with a Dreadnought Rune. This is simply for more life steal. This isn't really necessary. You could have uh, the Threatening Shout with the... which rune was it again? Let me check. Threatening Shout with Grim Harvest. This gives you extra um, chance for mobs to drop items. But personally I use this just to be on the safe side. Like if you're stuck in a group with like a wall or a desecrator, you know, you can just use the Furious Charge to get out of there and each enemy you hit gives you life. So I mean it's really good. Here I have Earthquake with the Mountain's Call Rune. This is really just for more burst damage when I'm fighting elite packs. Um, and this one has no Fury cost, so I don't have to worry about building up Fury to use it. And it reduces the cooldown as well, which is really nice. So yeah, here's the big uh, skill here. Revenge with Provocation. Increase the chance for Revenge to become active. Um, this is really good. This is like, I think it's a 30% chance for Revenge to proc. Um, this, you need this. Simply put, you need this. Each enemy you hit gives you health. So if you're like getting gangbanged by mobs, just revenge. And there's little tricks that you can do, like if you're fighting an elite pack, you can go and find more mobs, like normal white mobs, and then you can use them as basically life leech for you. You can just have them come to the elite pack and then you can continuously use revenge. And each time you hit them, like for me, if I'm down to 15k HP, each time I hit the mobs with revenge, I get about 6 to 7k HP back, which is really nice. And so here I have Warcry with the Impunity. Um, this gives you extra resistance, about I think 300 for me. And then Wrath of the Berserker, Insanity, increase your damage while Wrath of the Berserker is active. You need this for solo play. Simply put, unless you have like. 100k DPS or 50k DPS. <laughs> Alright, and so the passive skills. Superstition. Um, this is really good. What it does is, like I said, elemental damage is reduced by 20%. <clears throat> and you also gain fury each time you're hit by an elemental attack or ranged attack. Tough as nails, just extra armor. Nerves of steel. This isn't really necessary. This is if you want to be in group play. What I usually do is I use Bloodthirst to again have more. Um, Life Leech, or you can use Ruthlessness, or Weapon Master. But personally, I like Bloodthirst, so I'm going to turn that on. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to talk about now is gear switching. So here I have all my Magifying gear. I believe I have like, how many? I think it's 10 items. Let me count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, wait, 11. There we go. So, what I want to do is, in the link below, I'm going to link you what I'm using. What it is, is it's a macro that basically um, allows you. Where is this? Basically, it allows you to swap your gear in like a second from the moment you use it, which is really, really helpful. So what you can do is just keep a mob down to like 10k HP and then um, switch to your Magifying gear and then you'll get all that gear, that extra gear from the Magic Find uh, percentage. So it's really simple to set up. Um, I don't think I need to make a guide for it. However, if you guys do want me to make a guide, I can always do that. So here I'm just setting it up. I'm not sure if you guys can see it on the screen, but basically all you do is you click OK, and then you highlight each piece of gear as it tells you to. And then once you are done, all you have to do is press one button and all your gear will switch. So I'm just going to finish setting this up and then I'll show you guys how it works. Give me a second here. <laughs> okay, so I think that's all set up. All right, it's all set up. So now I'm gonna show you. 
I put my hotkey to K. So now when I press it, you can see all my gear swapped. Now you might be confused and be like, oh, what the hell? Why is your chest piece missing? I'm using the um, invisible die, so just look more manly, I guess. <laughs> so you can see all my gear switched. And I have a 196% match fund. And I'll press K again. And there we go. I got all my DPS gear back on. So this is going to be really helpful in what we're going to be doing. So now let's get on to the farming. So um, where I usually start off is I go to Act 1, the Cursed Hold. And then I go to the cemetery. Usually one pack spawns here. So I'm going to look for it. Um, okay. So we're just going to keep go down over here, see if there's a the mob has spawned here. It's usually a gold skeleton. And it doesn't look like he spawned this time. That's like the first time I've come here and he hasn't spawned. So you can see how simple this is and how much like every time a mob hits me I just block it. So since we didn't find the skeleton here um, we're just going to go into this crypt to find a blue pack. Oh, I forgot to get a follower. I will go and do that right now. So I use the enchantress just because she's ranged and I'm going to always be in the tank area. So here we have plague not back shielding. So I pop not yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pop my Earthquake first and then pop Wrath of the Berserker. Shielding is usually the worst. So now I'm going to use my Fierce Charge. Use my Health Potion. Usually they would have died by now, but the problem is the shielding. So this this one's pretty low here, so I'm going to target him. Oh, I'm in a bad spot. That's not good. All right, so I think we got one down. All right, so I'm going to move back a bit. We're doing good here. If we need to, there's a health globe down there. So just furious charge towards the health globe. So I'm gonna do that right now. Back to full HP. And you can see, I would probably be dead by now if it wasn't for that blocking. I'm not sure if you noticed it, but you can just see all that block damage. And here I'm standing in the desecration and you can see like, my HP is not going down that quickly. Now it is because I'm not actually hitting him, so I'm not getting any life leech. So I'm going to bring him over here out of that desecration. And you can see I have about almost 800. 800 resistance. I have 988 arcane and holy resistance. And all the gear that I bought, it's all been 10k each. So it's very easy to perform the same way I'm performing right now in Inferno. So, yeah, there we go, he's dead. I didn't switch to Magifying gear that time around because I only have one stack at the moment. And one stack's not really going to help you get a gold. I usually wait until I get two stacks. So we're just going to keep heading down here to look for... Um, okay, so we got another blue pack. Knockback, Frozen, much five fire chains. This one's not that bad. So, Earthquake, Wrath of the Berserker. You can just see how quick they drop. CCs don't affect me once I'm in Wrath form. You can just see like how much HM I'm getting back from Revenge. So, 
That one's dead, so we just have one more. Oh, actually, there's two. I didn't see that one. <laughs> um, well, it's not that big of a deal. It's going to die pretty soon anyways. I'm going to get this small one just in case. All right. So we're just going to DPS this guy down now. We're going to get ready to swap out here. There we go. And there. Item level 61. Nice. There we go. Now I know the quality isn't that great, but the main reason why I'm doing this is because um, this is probably going to take a while to show you guys the entire area and making an hour long video using fraps is annoying. So we have a resplendent chest, so I'm going to, oh wait, I forgot, yeah, I forgot that chests don't actually affect, or magic friend doesn't affect chests anymore, but whatever, we'll just click on it anyways. Mm. Generally, I don't pick up items unless they're item level 61 or above. Um, simply because I don't need items that are that low level. I mean, you, you might want them for disenchanting because you can sell those exquisite, exquisite essences for 2k each on the auction house, but I, I don't even think the um, items lower than item level 61 even give you exquisite essence. I'm not 100% sure on that. So now I'm going to head over to the next crypt to find more blue packs. This is basically what's become of Inferno is what you want to do is get five Nephilim Valor stacks as quickly as you can and then just kill every mob. Every elite pack, I should say. Because now you're always guaranteed a rare. Generally, I can get 40 rares per run of this. Um, so, I'll save all my items until the very end. Unless my stash gets full, because I only have two stash links and the first one is full. Alright, so we got another rare. Vortex, Electrify, Vampiric Arcane. Okay, so Earthquake, Wrath of the Berserker. I'm just standing through this because I have over 1k almost. Resistance to Arcane, so I don't really care. Plus my life leech is retardedly insane. So, get our hotkey ready. He's getting pretty low here. So I'm going to move out of this, so I can switch. You can see, even with my Magifying gear, I'm not getting hit that hard, just because, you know, of the life leech. There we go. So we didn't get any rares that time, which kind of sucks, but RNG is RNG. So I'll pick that up just to disenchant it. Other than that, there's no reason for you to pick up items lower than 61. And some bats here and some skeletons. Ah, go away. All right. Plague, Nightmarish, Exo Health, Waller. So this one's not that bad either. I don't have anything up right now, so I mean, whatever. So yeah, you can see like each time I use Revenge in this big group of enemies, I just go back to full HP that simple. So my earthquake's up, I'm gonna use that now. Whoa. They're not letting me use my earthquake, they keep knocking me back. There we go. Finally got it off. Alright, so Wrath is up. So I'm just gonna burst this one down. Then go to the next one with the lowest HP. Wow, 
want to move out a bit now because I'm going to start to get a little low. Now remember, I only have 31k HP. Most people will have around 40k HP. So again, you can see how simple this game is once you know how to gear up. I know a lot of barbarians are like, oh, I'm a barbarian, I shouldn't have to just tank. I want to be able to do a lot of DPS too. Here's the thing. To do that, you need a lot of gear. Once you get that gear, I can assure you... Oh, see, I was too busy talking. This is one of the things I hate about myself. Is whenever I start talking... Um, I seem to forget what I'm uh, usually doing. So there, I forgot to press my hockey. <laughs> but uh, anyways, like I was saying is, a lot of barbarians, they seem to think, oh, well, I'm a barbarian, I should be able to do DPS, I shouldn't only have to tank. Like I'm saying, you need gear for that. I have been watching a lot of barbarian stream, um, especially this one called R. Roland. He streams on Twitch TV. And I... I mean, if you guys really want to see a barbarian that does sick amount of DPS, you should go watch his stream. Um, he just does insane DPS. Like, he has, I think it's around 100k DPS on Act 3 Inferno, and he doesn't die. Like, he does 200, 300k crits with Whirlwind. And the reason why he doesn't die is because of life leech. He has, like, around 8% life leech. So he get, he gains back 8% of life for each hit he does. So 8% of 30 or 300,000, I mean, you know, you're not going to die if you're doing that. And that's AOE. So, I mean, it's even more than 8% life leech when you're hitting 10 enemies at once. So you can see why he wouldn't die. So, I mean... It does suck that you can't just straight off the bat use your two-handers or, you know, your one-hander in each hand. But, I mean, once you get that gear, you'll be able to have so much fun in this game, I guarantee it. And you'll get to play how you want. It does kind of suck, though, that you have to wait that long before you can play the game the way you want to. But, I mean, that's just the way it is. Um, hmm. Did I miss something? Okay, yeah, so there's a little edge over there I missed. So I'm gonna head over there. So I got four stacks now. That was pretty quick. I don't know how long I've been streaming for, but I think it was about 10, 15 minutes. So getting that many stacks in that short of a period of time is really good. All right. I think we're getting near to the exit. All right. So there should be another elite pack here. Oh, I didn't level 60. Can't use that. This is that room at the very beginning where you get the lyrics crown. Never mind. So we're done here. Um, I'm just gonna kill these. I mean, anything can drop. Anything might as well just kill shit. I remember getting a legendary off just a normal skeleton. <laughs> Although it was a really bad legendary. Then again, every legendary is bad in this game almost. Unless it's a ring or amulet. Generally, it's really bad. There, now you can stop summoning your retired skeletons. Thank you very much. Oh my god, there's another one. Please die. 
There we go. All right. So we're gonna teleport out. Mm. I think there's another crypt here in the cemetery. Mm. Let's see. Do do do. Yeah, there we go. What is this? Fortune shine. Might as well click on it. I'm just gonna head over because I have the Fortune Shrine buff up. I'm gonna look for a pack as soon as possible. Do, do, do. More normal mobs. I have a feeling this is gonna be a dead end. Or not. Interesting layout for a map. Okay, there's the dead end. So, should be on the other side. I think I'm gonna kill the pack before this boon goes off. Jeez, man, this is such a retarded map. Like, straight up, this is the most retarded map I've ever seen. Still nothing. <laughs> I just know it's gonna be like, oh, you found a blue mob now, it's gonna go off. Yeah, 10 seconds, come on. There's no way. More bats. There's a shrine up here. Frenzy. Yep, there we go. What did I say? Alright, so this one, it's not that hard. Wrath of the Berserker. Yeah, so he's dead. I did it. I got it off this time. Woot. Oh my god. I didn't get a I didn't get a rare. How much imagine find it? I think I have like two hundred okay, two hundred and seventy three percent. Come on. Cinqueta. Alright. So we didn't get anything. So we can teleport out. Now we have five stacks, so we're always going to get a rare. So I suppose it's not that big of a deal. Sometimes I use this two-hander. Sometimes I don't. Just thought I'd say that for no particular reason. All right, so anyways, now we're going to head over to mm, Lyrics Manor. We're going to backtrack all the way to Highlands Crossing. Can go over here. Now there's gonna be a bunch of cultists pop out. That's not gonna be a problem for us. Wow, our enchantress is just got a little stomped. But anyways, um, if you don't want to watch the entire video, I'll just tell you, I probably should have said this at the beginning, but I'll tell you what you basically want to do is, you want to go to the cemetery, kill everything in the crypts, then come over to Lyrics Manor, 
and kill everything all the way back towards like you know where the cars of barricade is go all the way past that to like the entrance where the spider queen is you don't actually want to kill the spider queen though you just want to go to where the spider queen um where you kill her is that entrance of that and then you want to go back to the cursed holds kill the mobs there kill the warden and then kill the butcher if you want to it's not necessary oh there we go i got it off all right dead eye quiver something tells me that dead eye quiver is going to be high level nope never mind i think it's going to be high level just because of the dead man's quiver that legendary quiver I'm gonna identify this just because it's 57. Yeah. Yeah, it's really bad. Generally, you always wanna identify uh, jewelry just because jewelry has a high chance of being good no matter what level it is. So there's always a rare pack here. And there we go. Sweet, and I have a fortune shrine. Whoa, I'm getting hit really hard. Damn nightmarish. Alright, so I'm just focusing on him. You can see here again how useful that block and um, healing is. Alright, so earthquake. Killed a bunch there. Oh boy, I better move out of that. They keep exploding because they're dead. Alright, so we just have to worry about this last guy here now. Won't take us that long to kill. We got two health orbs there if we so happen to need them, which we probably won't. So when he gets down to 30k, I'm going to switch to my Magifying Gear. There we go. Alright, so we got three rares. I'm just going to identify the lower ranked ones. Mm, 200 vitality. DPS is really bad though. So, one thing I have here is this. I'd recommend you guys get a weapon that has magic find on it. That's something I've noticed um, from a lot of streams or people who play that I've seen is they don't actually. They don't actually get gear that has magic find on it on their main hand weapon. You really should do that. It's really good. You lose DPS, but it helps so much. Magic find that is. So I'm gonna head to town now. And sell those lower level gears to the merchant. Simply because I don't need all those essences and stuff, because I just have way too many in my inventory. Uh, this won't sell. Nope. 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 Uh, nope. I might sell to a witch doctor or something, but I mean, whatever. I don't really care. Bum, 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 bum. Oh man, what am I gonna do here? I've got so much shit in here. I'm like a loot whore. Even though the gear is really bad, I still keep it in my uh
Why am I not using this? I'll just put. Uh, give me one second here. I think the reason I'm using this one is for the crit damage, but I mean that's not necessary. Uh, uh, uh. I already do enough crit damage as it is. I need to get rid of some of this gear. Yeah, I don't know why I have this. So I'm gonna go make that one into a star and then put that in that ring. Just for more deeps. More deeps is a good thing. Do, 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 do. God, I'm so poor, I need to start making money. Alright, there, replaced. I really don't even know why it's using this. <laughs> I mean, what level is this? Level 42? Why am I using level 42 ring? Jesus. I'm not like this one's better, but whatever. In almost every game that I've played, I'm such a loot whore. Like, I never want to sell anything. Because I get worried. I'm like, oh no, what if this will sell for this so and so much? You know? I remember the first week of Diablo, like, the second day I got, like, <laughs> a bunch of good items and I sold them for, like, 100k each. And they all had, like, 50 DPS on them. Uh, that was good times. You'll be lucky if you can even sell something like that on the auction loss at all whatsoever. Alright, so sometimes there's an elite here. Let's see if he's here. Oh, it doesn't look like he's here. So Damn mosquito, go away. Yeah, so we're doing more DPS now, big time. There's anything here. I'm just gonna take care of these guys though because I don't want to bring them into a group simply because of their little seeds that they plant. That'll fuck you up big time if you're not careful. I always pick up those square topaz, doesn't matter. Simply okay, here we go. Reflex damage. Don't really care about reflex damage since I'm a melee. Poor demon hunters. <laughs> they got like the worst nerf when this patch came out. Like they completely killed the class in my opinion. Well not completely killed it, just made it really difficult to play. <sighs> I hate these mobs that run dude. They're Alright, so I'm gonna back him into a corner. There we go. That's next. The only problem now is I don't have Wrath up. So if I do go into that corner, I'm gonna fuck myself over. Yeah, fuck. I need to get out of here. 
I'm gonna go out to an open area. So I'm gonna head back up here just to be on the safe side. Jesus Christ, dude. That spear throwing. Alright. Wish I had a stun. But then, I wouldn't have all the good skills that I have on right now. Alright. My enchantress is back up, so that's good. And back him to this corner now. DPS him. So his AI is bugged now. I don't think he'll use his desecration. Oh, never mind. I should be fine, though. And he's almost dead. There we go. So now I just have this one to worry about. Oh, great. We have a Highland Walker following us now. We're going to move back. So he's down. So we're just gonna head over here so he follows us. Gonna try and get him to okay, he's not listening. What I wanna do here is I wanna try and get him to a corner. Oh, my chance just pushed him back. He's gonna run in front of him so he runs to the right. Keep moving him. Alright. Here we go, we got him in a corner now. I'm gonna get frozen though, so you might run. Oh, no, never mind. I'm not going to use the... Ah, I might as well identify this. Yeah. So you can see this is why um, <laughs> I didn't want to make this video on fraps because I'd probably get so bored. And then I'd stop talking like I am right now. Mm. What the hell? I just killed with that log. Alright, so we're gonna go in this cave, there's usually a pack in here. They stole my brother. I've actually never done this. Jailer, Vampiric, Plagued. Oh, not that bad. But yeah, like this is why I didn't frap to record this because I'd talk for like, I'd have to talk for two hours straight. Oh god. Go, oh, an item level 61 amulet. I think I'm gonna have to change that hotkey to a button on my mouse so I don't have to. Move my hand onto my keyboard. Now my left hand onto my keyboard. I'm recording this at like 1 a.m. So this is why it's kind of quiet right now.
I'm sure the time when I record videos, it's later at night, so I usually sound tired or quiet. And you start recording in the afternoon. Oh god, this is his brother. <laughs> oh my god, his brother looks retarded. He's gonna drop gear. Or is he gonna drop potions? Seriously? Mythical potions, that's what he dropped. I'm not helping you next time, bro. <laughs> Mythical potions, really? That's gonna help me so much. Jeez. Uh, is there another leak pack here? Um, I'm thinking there's gonna be one at the bottom left. So I'm gonna head over there. If there is one, I'm gonna bring it back to this fortune shrine. So I can get extra magic found on. 107% uh, gold find. And 77% magic find, that's pretty good. Can make about 100k per run. It's not bad at all. So there's, like, I don't think there's anything left here. Unless there's something down here. Nope. Lame. Gonna go back to where we stopped at. Agree. That's another one of those Highland Walkers. These are probably the most annoying mobs ever. Like they wait until you find a really hard mob to kill, and they're like, "Oh, I'm going to come kill you now." They're so annoying. Mm. All right. Now there's usually a pack to the left. After we go up these stairs. So we'll, we'll, we'll look for that. I <laughs> love this guy. Don't let anybody touch me. Oh. I'm getting low. Boom. Massacre. Oh, no, oh, we got a shielder. Alright. This shouldn't be a problem. But you never know. Shit can happen at any point. And I'm starting to get low. Yeah, I'm fucked. 
I that's what I mean, dude. I fucking hate those Highland Walkers. They're so annoying. It just spawn and fuck shit up for you. They're like cock blockers. That's what that's what I imagine them as. Cock blockers. See, like I'm in fucking trouble, dude. Oh shit. Holy fuck. I need to kill the Highland Walker. It's pissing me off. Like Yeah, I'm fucked. There's there's no way. The Highland Walker, he just keeps spawning shit on the ground. That's my problem. I think they're gonna regen. Nope, not yet. Oh fuck. Alright, so I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move back. Down here. I have to get rid of that Highland Walker. Jesus. Alright, come here, I need some health. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna go into this corner here. I'm gonna wait for the Highland Walker to show its face and then ram my fucking sword up its ass. Oh, so it died or something or what? Maybe they got stuck. Oh my god, 1000 HP. <sighs> the reason I died there is because I switched my match find gear at like the very last second. Alright, let's see what we got here. Oh, item level 62. Item level 60. Nice. Oh, so there's that fucking Highland Walker. There you go. Now you can shut the fuck up. Thank you. <laughs> uh, now, if only this were a rare, and I identified it, that would be nice. Uh, Alright, I'm gonna identify this item level 60. really bad. Mm. How I like to do things is I like to assign them in order of item level when I'm identifying. Because if you leave everything at the very last, um, and it's item level 63, you know you're going to get at least one item, that's good. Usually, but I mean, RNG is RNG, so. I usually just go 61 and then to 63. Or 61, then 62, then 63. Alright, so there should be another rare here. So we're going to look for it. As you can see, it's not that hard to farm Act 1 at all. It's really easy. It just takes a little bit of time. If I had better gear, I'd be doing this in like maybe half an hour. But this is gear that I bought with 10k per piece, so. By doing this, you'll get gear that you can probably sell to people um, for much higher amounts, and then in return, you can buy better gear. It'll allow your farm to go by quicker. Now that is a nice helmet. For magic find. Just put another... Um, topaz in there. You can easily have over 40% magic find of that. Um, piece alone. Now, if it had... If it had, instead of armor, it had all resistance, that guy would be rolling in millions.
Mm. Oh. I just hope my enchantress doesn't attack him. I'm gonna move back a bit. My enchantress is a retard. Oh, he's on his drum. Is that a treasure? Looks like just a normal treasure bandit. Alright. Oh man. See, you never want to do that preemptively. I fucked that up. Never mind, he ran back into it. Stop burning. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I fucked that up. Oh my god, I fucked that up. I fucked that up. I'm sorry you guys had to see me fuck that up. <laughs> oh my god, I fucked that up big time. I swapped way too early. Jesus Christ, that's embarrassing. <laughs> uh, oh well. We all fuck up at one point in our lives, don't we? <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna go down over here to the western side. There's usually another rear over there. I really should have waited until he was down to 10k HP before I swapped my gear. Oh well. There is no point in living in the past. Shit happens. rares in here as well so we'll kill them. Those are those barbarian boots. Mm. Those are nice but I'd rather have a vit instead of that physical resistance. Mm. Those are bad. Teleporter, blah blah blah. No, no. This is so simple to kill. So this time we're gonna wait until. Oh, there we go.
Jesus Christ, those blunt chests are so shit now. That guy got speared. Let me out. Thank you. Waller Molten Plex. Another easy mob to kill. to Papa. There we go. <laughs> Fast flex damage, shielding vortex. Just what I wanted. I'm being sarcastic, by the way. Fucking Highland Walker, go the fuck down. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. Fucking throw any spears at me. Fuck. <sighs> there we go. Hold, watch. He's gonna run too, I just know it. No, oh, wait, those aren't spear throwers. This one is. It's fucking spear throw. Look at it. Running away. Not four properties. Shield sucks a lot. No vitality. No block. It's like ten percent block. Why would you even use that? Might as well identify this. Snowball sixty. 
that's terrible. Where's my helmet? Mm. These ones aren't bad. It's only four properties, look, so it kind of fucking sucks. How much does this sell for? 1,000 gold. Salvage it. Get my exquisite essence. Oh, what the fuck? It's bullshit, son. Oh well. Oh well. <coughs> Saint Tears. Those are so bad. I even want to have that in my inventory. It's so bad there. Alright, so we're going to head down over here. There's usually another elite pack down here. Um, specifically in this area. If not, it's not a big deal. Now, generally... Um, I can make this guide so short by just telling you to farm the entirety of Act 1. So, I mean, basically that's what you want to do is just go to like the last quest which has every waypoint. Um, and then just fucking kill all the elite packs. But for me this is what I like doing because it doesn't really feel tedious. And I actually have a lot of fun doing this rather than just doing an entire act over and over again. You you get really bored really quick. Whereas with this, you can always switch it up. There's more unique packs. So it's more fun. If there was one um, mob that I could remove from this game, it'd be the Highland Walker and the stupid Soul Thrashers and Soul Rippers. They're probably the most retarded. Look, another one. Fucking hell, dude. Like, here, it's not bad, right? But I mean, when you're fighting a lot of enemies, this shit is so retarded. They just sit there and spawn their stupid thing, and then your entire map is full of them, and you can't do anything. You just die, straight up. Yeah, I think that goblin that I missed probably would have dropped a legendary. <laughs> uh, that's the thing about goblins, man. You never know what they're going to drop. They can always drop something good. That's why it sucks if you don't kill it and it gets away. Because you never know what could have dropped. Whereas with a normal mob, like an elite pack, you know you can always kill it. Unless it's got retarded affixes. But with the goblin, you know, he makes that little wee hee sound just as he jumps in, and you're like, ah, really? Did you really just do that? Ah, uh, it sucks. Alright. So after we clear this area, we're gonna head back over to, um, the Cursed Holds. We'll kill those champion packs there, and then we'll kill the Warden, and then we can kill the Butcher. Um, if we feel like it. I don't... It's not necessary to kill the Butcher. I mean, I can kill him easily, but if... If you can't kill him on, like, the first or third try, then I would just say, just start all over again. It's much, much simpler. Instead of wasting your time trying to kill him, you could be farming more packs. 
Is he just a boss? Please tell me he's at least like a yellow. That'll suck if he's just a boss, cause bosses don't drop shit. Mm, yep, he's a boss, so he's useless. Great. I'm not gonna bother using cooldowns. Cad hold the death caller, shepherd of defilement. <laughs> That's a funny title. So I'm gonna put on my magic finding unit. Just see, like he don't drop shit. Yeah, see, didn't drop shit. <sighs> I don't really understand why they nerfed. Bosses to not drop shit makes no sense. What else? So we made a bit of money so far. Not a lot, but still. Boom! All right, let's look for that other pack. Oh my god, I just took that right face. 80 dex, 32 physical resistance, attack speed increase, critical damage. Those are really nice. How much is he saying? Uh, those aren't. I don't know. It's really hard to say simply because there's no vitality or anything like that. To me that seems more like something you'd swap when you're using magifying gear, but I mean when you're using magifying gear, the stuff that you're attacking is going to be dying pretty soon anyways. So you don't really need all that crit and crit chance, all that stuff. It's not really necessary. Fucking more Highland Walkers, dude. I, every time I see a Highland Walker, I just want to quit. <laughs> I'm not even exaggerating. I fucking hate them so much. So I'm going to look for an Elite Pack, and I'm going to bring it back over to this shrine. No. Oh, there we go. Look at that. We got one. So I'm going to bring him... Oh, fuck. I should have killed this dumbass. Alright. I'm not going to use... Alright, we got problems here, desecration. That's not gonna be good. Alright, so this bitch is dead. Earthquake. Let's go, go, go. Alright. And now I'm gonna DPS down his minions. Before I kill him, because I want to swap to my magic find gear. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna line them up this way, so that I can just use my charge like that. So you can see how this would have been a problem if I didn't have all that block percentage. I'd be big. Getting hit fucking hard. Alright. Almost down. So we're gonna grab this health globe. Oop, they're gonna charge me pretty soon here. Alright, so that one's down. A neat trick um, is, for example, when you use revenge, what you wanna do is you wanna keep having the monsters are alive because you want to hit as many enemies as possible so what you should do is like if you get one low then start DPS in the other one so you can continuously still heal yourself from getting those hits off those until they die alright so this one's pretty low here time swap 
Holy fucking. There we go. There we go. Let's see what we got here. 60. Like, really? 53? Let's just identify it right away. <laughs> that is so bad. That is like. That is so bad. Anyways, so I think we're done here. There's usually a goat, a blue goat, over at the bottom here, so we'll check and see if it's there. If not, we'll just go to the Cursed Hold and work our way towards the Butcher. Keep on following me. I love how they just stood there. It's like, come on, bro, come hit me. It's probably gonna be a mosquito when I click on this. Nope. I'm not gonna go in there yet. I'm gonna find the other mob first. Actually, I need to be more careful. I'm not gonna. I gotta kill these Highland Walkers first. If I find a mob there, it's gonna cause a problem. I would do that if I had like 50k HP, but I don't. And I have 33. Oh my god, another one. Hate these Highland Walkers with a passion. There should be one here, mosquito. Interesting. Oh, hey, look, another Highlander. So many fucking trees. Alright, there it's the goats. Stop running! Oh my god. I'm gonna try and see if I can get him into a corner. Nope. Oh my god. I just wasted my wrath. I fucking hate this shit, dude. Why can't they be the axe wielding ones? Those ones actually fucking fight you. Oh my god. Okay, here come more goats. Oh my god, fuck this shit. Oh my god, this is not gonna be good. Oh my god. This is bad. 
Oh my god, this is fucking bad. This is fucking bad. This is bad. Jesus. Life on hit and block, thank you. I would be dead by now if it wasn't for those two. Ah, uh, things. Jesus fucking... What the... Get over here. Stop walling me in, you asshole. Alright. Uh-oh. 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 Come on. They're really, really low. I just need to kill one of these two. Alright, so I got Wrath up. Um, I just want to be careful about how I use it. I'm going to kill this one at least first before I even think about using it. Alright, he's down. I'm going to kill the other one that's low on HP. Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Tarth gets you running inside that. Come on. He's almost dead. Alright. Are you running, bro? Four rares, nice. Now I got a fucking Highland Walker here, that's not gonna be nice. He usually drops a health wood though, so it, I mean it's not that bad if he drops one. Oh, he just dropped a potion only. Oh, yeah, actually, he actually did drop a health wood. Nice. You can see how annoying some of these mobs are when they just keep fucking running. Like you attack them and they're just like, oh no, I'm gonna keep running. Oh fuck, I hit in rage. Yeah, so I have to kill this guy really quick. Oh, he's in the corner, nice. He can't get out of here. You're gonna die, bro. Sometimes you just need to get really lucky. There we go, we did it. It was a bit of an intense fight. We did it.
If that 109 dex was 109 vitality, that'd be nice, but it's not the case. Oof, that was an intense fight. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, Hellion crossbow. All right, we got some good items that run. So we'll put them into our inventory or our stash. Item level 61 is first, and then 62 comes next. Why did I put that in my stash? What the hell? So then. too many shits that I don't even use. I don't even know what I'm going to do with this, to be honest. I mean, it's decent. It's not really that good, but it's decent, so I'll just keep it there anyways. Someone, one of my friends might want it. I'll just pick this shit up and just to scan it or identify, not scan. And I'll just go throw it in the garbage if it's really, really shitty. Bleh. There's way better shit out there. <laughs> this is why we don't loot this kind of stuff. That's terrible. That's terrible. Another terrible item. Oh. Yeah, this is terrible. So we're going to go into that cave that we saw earlier in this area, one right here, and then we'll go check the middle, the center, see if there's another rare in there, and then once we've done that, we'll head over to the Cursed Hold, and we'll kill the Pax there, and then the Warden. Still not sure if I want to kill the Butcher, we'll see. If I'm not tired, we'll kill the Butcher. But yeah, just do this over and over again until you have really good gear to do Act 2, and then just, yeah. So I didn't have to think about four or five days of doing this. And you should have enough gear to start act two. Well, I, I did act two. I did act two earlier today, and I got up to around the oasis. Once I got to the oasis, it was too difficult simply because of the snakes there. Um, I mean, I could I could kill them, like I said earlier, I could tank them for a long time and then kill them. But I mean, that's gonna that's way too much time. I need to be able to kill them faster. And yeah, so I don't think anybody wants to just sit there attacking shit for seven minutes before it dies for a little higher chance of getting better items. A rare, huh? That's item level 62. 
As you can see, like, you would, you would skip this most of the time, but I mean... I mean, it, it's the randomness of this game. It makes you really want to explore all the time. It makes sure you click on everything, and that's one of the things that we weren't doing before 1.03. Before 1.03, I mean, what was your usual routine? You go kill a boss, like the Siege Breaker, and then that'd be it, you know. But now, like, you actually explore, so you, you even get better chance to getting good loot while you're killing those elite packs, because you're looking for elite packs, so you want to check everywhere, right? So I mean, I think I think this patch is good. I think what Blizzard says about how they want people to play the game is a good thing. I, I don't really understand the people who enjoy killing bosses over and over again. It's like getting five stacks and killing bosses. Uh, I find this to be more enjoyable, to be honest. Stop fearing me, damn it. Alright, so he's pretty low here, 180k. Why do you keep fearing me? All item level 61. That is nice. Fuck, I fucked up my magic find gear. Mm. Yes, sir. the last one there. Vengeful Oak. That is bad. Okay. <sighs> That'd be good for a low level wizard. Flavor Flav. I just can't wait for that legendary item buff. That'll be nice. If only this had dropped after that patch. <laughs> Using a two-hander and like Inferno that always has magic wind on it. That'd be nice. What do we got here? 
for NZ Shrine. I miss putting on Magic Find gear to click on these. I'll wait to get that Frenzy Shrine until um, I find an Elite Pack. Like that. So we're just going to go kill him. Yeah, this is an easy pack, to be honest. This is going to be a joke. I looked at my magic find again, what the hell did I change? Fuck. Mm. Something seems off still. be imagining things. Anyway, we're just going to look at these because they're low level. Uh, yeah, those are terrible. That's the end. Nope. I spoke too soon. Let's use our earthquake. Fuck. Yeah. I don't think I've ever gotten a, a level 60 ring before. Or 60, 60 or higher. It's always been lower. Like level 57 or 58. I honestly think rings and amulets are the most rare items in the game. Simply because the stats you can get from them are just whew, ridiculously good. Alright, so we just have to check the center here and then and we'll head back over to the Cursed Bolt. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything here. Just standard mobs. Alright. Come uh, on, don't hit me, don't hit me. Fuck! Stupid frog! Oh god, here comes another one. I 
Oh, and another one, and another one, and another one. There we go. So we're gonna go put this crap into our inventory, or not? I'm just gonna drop this stuff. I mean, I don't know if I will need them, but yeah. These ones are okay. Oops. Okay, you know what? I know what I'll do. This will make things simple. There. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, these are terrible. Honestly, I don't even know why I have those. Those are so bad. Why doesn't he just identify it? Some people. Alright, so we're gonna go to Lyrix Manor. And basically what we're going to do now is we're just going to do a standard butcher run. So just kill all that shit. The mobs in here. Oh fuck. Oh god. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Why don't... Oh my god, guys, I did it. I did it. I made it for my past mistake. <laughs> oh my goodness. I killed him. He didn't run away this time. <laughs> uh, item level 62. Item level 60. 60. 62. Oh, uh, we're gonna just gonna dump this crap in the. Do, do, do. See what we got here. What in the burning hell is happening around here?
Hmm. Shouldn't be encountering blue or yellow pretty soon. Lawler, Mortar, Illusionist, and Chiller. Do I even really want to fight this? I think I'm going to die if I fight this. We'll see. You know, the problem here is Illusionist is like the best for a Barbarian because each time they make those clones and I hit, I'm gaining life back, so uh, this is pretty easy. Oh, it's starting to get low. Well, this one's dead almost anyway, so it should be fine. It's dead. I'm just out healing his damage. So you see, like, right there, just full HP, because they spawn like five. so bad. Oh my god. I'm not even gonna bother picking up level 55 loot anymore. Like, like if it doesn't have, if, if it's not a ring or an amulet, I'm not even gonna bother picking it up. Straight up. Because there's no reason. I mean, I can sell it, but it's not worth it, in my opinion. It's a waste of time. Another pack. Another four property. So it is a wonder why people even bother posting those gears when they're like, you know, they're not even good. It's like, you do realize what you're posting, nobody's going to buy, right? <laughs> Maybe if it was better, people would buy it. Maybe. Just Maybe. I'm running out of inventory space. <laughs> Why do I have this? Okay, you know what I'm gonna do is, there's a ton of shit in here. Like why is this in my inventory?
like half the shit in here has no purpose. <laughs> this is useless. Why would anybody ever want that? Um, A3 staring, 38 vitality, 40 arcane, 36. This might sell for some money. Um, only barbarians could use this, and I can't think of any barbarian that would want that. This is another plan that I can't do. It. This is useless. This is useless. <laughs> this is useless. I'll keep this to take out the gem from. This is another useless item. Another useless item. Mm, I'll probably sell this for like 5k. I don't have that many items anyway, so I might as well just keep it. Because I don't have anything to sell in the auction house. These two rings are useless. Not sure why I have them. I'm gonna take out these gems. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take out these gems from some of these items. Again, another useless item. Nobody's gonna want this. I'm just gonna take out these gems from some of these items and then sell them all. I've got a ton of shit that I can't even use. I don't even know why I have all that stuff in there. Loot whore. Um. There we go. Now, the question is salvage. Or sell. Probably make like 20k if I'm selling all this stuff. So I guess I'll just salvage it. I don't really care about money. Yeah, I even got an, a tooth. <laughs> that just shows how low level those items are. Alright. So. We should be... Should be good now. We've made more room. <clears throat> Let's continue. This is this is a boss, isn't it? Yeah. Another useless. Like honestly, don't bother looting any items under level 61. 
if you have the gear that I'm talking about, like the one I'm using right now. It's it's so easy, dude. Like 10k for each piece of gear that I'm wearing right now is it's not a whole lot. You can make that money in like an hour of farming. You can gear up and do the stuff that I'm doing in within an hour. You just want all resistance. Go to I'll show you guys at the end of this video. Like near the end, I'll show you what you want to be looking for. Cause I got I got ten stacks or five stacks of Nephilim Valor right now, so can't really log out. But I mean, just go in the auction house, put in all resistance, vitality, um, if necessary. Like here, I don't really have any vitality pieces of gear, simply because it's gonna go for much more. But I mean, just put in a little bit of vitality, maybe forty or eighty. So I'm mad because I mean, look at my health pool. I've only got 36k HP. Not that big of a difference, you know. You just want to have this much. Not even 36k, 31k, and you should be doing perfectly fine. And you, know, you just want 31k, and you want about 800 resistance. I was doing this with around 600, but 800 is just so, like nothing kills you unless you fuck up and then just set it up the way I've set up my skills and you should be perfectly fine farming Inferno Act 1 should not be difficult at all whatsoever even the biggest noob of noob would be able to do this alright Should be another blue pack around here somewhere. Oh, never mind. We're going to level two. I'm not going to bother with those normal mobs. It's just a waste of time. I'm not going to waste our time with these either. We'll kill these because I think these guys transform to thralls. Yeah, they turn to thralls. So, again, just lol stomp. I'm just gonna check the left side to be sure that there's nothing there. Shit. Nope. Okay, we got something here. Plague, delusion. Oh my god, this is going to be difficult actually. You can see that arcane resistance is coming in handy right now. We're a thousand arcane resistance almost. I'm gonna kill his adds because I'm gonna be switching my gear right away. So we're gonna, gonna dash out of there. All right, and now we're gonna kill this dumbass. All right, so he's down. I'm gonna grab health. Now we're gonna start DPSing him down. Get ready to change to our magic flying queue. Sanctified quiver. Alrighty. Mm. The fuck? Oh. I was like, what's going on here? That's what was going on. That's why I had 36k. There we go. Fixed. Fixed. Mm -hmm. 
And I think they might be better than these ones. Oh well. Fuck. Something tells me that Hellion Cross was gonna have um, strength on it. <laughs> Don't tell me how I know, but I just know it's gonna have strength on it. Blizzard loves doing that shit with their stats. You like loot an item and has the most retarded stat ever on it. Some... What the hell? There's another one? Love when you do this on Act 3 and then there's a soul lasher behind the door and then just one shots you in the face. I kind of feel like using Earthquake here. Got a waypoint here. I'm still gonna need to go check that other side, top right side. So, we'll go earthquake. I can stand in this because nothing affects me at all when I'm in Wrath of the Berserker form. No, I need to start moving. Oh boy. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die here. I'm in trouble. I'm in a lot of trouble right now. I'm in a lot of fucking trouble. Whoa. Not even I survived that. So I'm just running right now. I believe there was a healing well here somewhere. Let's see if I can find it. But uh Alright. So the other one didn't follow us, so we're just gonna DPS this guy down. Oh, never mind, here he comes. But we're, we've done enough damage, to be honest. Uh-oh. Okay, we're gonna move back here. We want to stand in the center of them. It's where they're most powerful. We, want, we don't want to be in this corridor. This is a, just asking for a disaster to happen, simply because if you get frozen, they'll hit you and use their mortar there. Alright, so we've got Wrath up pretty soon here, and we have Earthquake up pretty soon. 
Alright, Earthquake's up. This, but we don't need to use it because this guy just died. I'll just use Wrath here because I, I don't want to waste so much time DPSing one guy. Aw, no oh, man. I was a bit slow on that. Oh. Since we're here anyways, we might as well just go look. See what's over here. Mm, pretty simple. Another weapon rack. Oh my god. Can you imagine if that was a rare? That would have been nice. Item level 63 in a rare. And there's a Molisher. And probably 600, 700 DPS. If you identify it and you get lucky. If you get really lucky, you get like 800 DPS on that. And life on hit. A socket. Ooh, that'd be very nice. That's why I can't wait to get to Act 3, is because that stuff's going to be dropped like candy. Especially if you get a good routine. Well, constantly getting good items. Alright, so I'm going to drop my Earthquake here because these guys are they're hitting me pretty hard and I don't want to waste my time doing this shit. When you hear that sound effect, just move away a bit. And we should be fine. Alright. So... There's usually two packs per room. Um, but just to be sure, I'm gonna head over to the... I'm gonna head back over there. See if I can find another pack. Because you want as many packs as possible. So I'm going to head back over there. Might be a waste of time, but you never know what could be over there. You could probably get a good item from one of the mobs over there. <clears throat> Shut up, Enchantress. She's probably the most annoying, but she's the best uh, follower. I wish a scoundrel was better. I would use him all the time. He's actually his dialogue's pretty funny. The Templar is just like, "What a monstrous creature!" It's like, "Oh my God, that battle was glorious!" It's like, "Okay, Templar, you need to shut up now." And John Dyer. <laughs> oh, John Dyer. Worst sneakermancer ever. Alright. Oops, don't want that. Oh, you got a fortune shrine all the way over here. Wow. I really don't know what to say about that. You know what I think I should have done? Is I should have gone to that area here, then use my teleport, and then click on this waypoint, and then come over here. And then use go back to the waypoint, and then go through my town portal, and then be on the other side. I should have done that instead. Oh well. It's like almost 3 a.m. so my brain's not as reactive as it should be. <laughs> Alright. Actually, you know what? I'll just go to, because I'm on Halls of Agony level 3, so what I'll do is just go... Oh wait, I don't have it, never mind. 
Yeah, that makes sense. If I had the butcher, if I was on the butcher waypoint, then I could do that, but I don't have the butcher. Because I want to kill the warden first. See, hope. Oh no, he's not here. Usually, if there's a merchant here, usually if there's a merchant there, um, there'll be another pack on the bridge that you can kill. So you get another chance of getting good items there. But he's not here. He hasn't spawned. And when you hear that, just move back like that, and he's dead. Easy. I'm not even gonna bother with these goat men. Actually, no, I'm just gonna kill them. Fuck it. So, see, that's what I was talking about. See? So, they're all really low on HP, and then boom, revenge. And then you get you hit all of them, and then you get the heal back. So I'll, I'll showcase what I'm talking about again here. So we're attacking this one, right? He's low on HP now. So then we attack the next one, and then we attack the next one because each time you get hit it increases the chance for um, revenge to proc, right? So if you don't kill the enemy, you just keep a low at HP. It allows you to continuously use revenge, and each time you hit an enemy, you get more HP, so it, it just makes sense to do that. Sometimes it is a risk, because if revenge doesn't proc, even though it should, because it has like a 30% chance with this uh, rune, but if it does proc, then you hit all those enemies and get your health back. I think it's um, it's an okay risk to take. It's not necessarily bad. So I'm just gonna skip this shit because these guys are so easy to kill, and I mean, again, revenge is so good. So I mean, look at this, we're in full HP. <laughs> so these will be actually more helpful if I find a blue pack. I haven't actually encountered a blue pack that I've had trouble with since the patch, just because I learned how to optimize my gear as a barbarian, and I mean, with the gear that I have now, there isn't really a pack that gives me trouble. I do know I'll have problems on Act 2 and 3, though, because the packs there, they are annoying. Oh, I missed one. Yeah, I missed one. There's usually two blue packs here, one on the right side and one on the left side. I haven't found one on the right side, so I think there might only be one left. So we'll go see what we have here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh oh. 
So I'm stuck here for now. So I get my charge up. There we go. Oh, what the hell? My charge fucked up. Chantress is still there though. Mm. Let's see if there's a blue pack. There we go. This one shouldn't be too difficult. So with the blue packs, you don't want to do the, oh, I'm going to do this much damage to this one, then do this much damage to the other one. You just want to burst two down immediately, like that. And then we'll just kill all these little eels run over here, so I can be in a good position to swap gear out of that desecration. So we're good to go here. Just really, two more hits. Three. I'm gonna swap back to my gear. These guys are hitting hard. Mm, all right. Highland sword. <laughs> it's actually funny. Highlander sword, that's what I should have called it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's terrible. Uh, so let's go to the bottom here, see if we can find another pack. Doesn't look like it, so we're just gonna go and start the boss fight with the warden. Now with the Butcher, when you fight him, you can either choose to dual wield or even use a two-hander simply because he doesn't do any damage and all of his attacks you can dodge if you want. So generally you don't have to use the sword and shield. You can just use two two uh use two one handers and one two hander. You should do perfectly fine. I don't know why, but lots of people just say, oh, the butcher's a waste of time, blah, blah, blah. So, I don't know, I just like to um, optimize the amount of gear that I can get. So I just kill everything anyways. I mean, yeah, it's going to take another like 10 minutes to get to the butcher. But what happens if you get a good item from him? Alright, so here's the warden. He's a joke. They added like molten and some other shit to him, but he's still a joke, so whatever. We're just gonna DPS him down. Now, I'm not. Oh, he's a boss, never mind, so I'm just gonna kill him. I'm not even gonna bother switching. I forgot. So yes, bosses, they're not really worth the effort anymore. They don't drop shit. Oh, we got another blue pack here. Never mind. Nice. So we got two blue packs in here. Nice. So I don't have anything to drop on them.
Okay, I need to kill this retard. He's so annoying. Look at him. Any mob that runs away from you just pisses me off, dude. So annoying. He just runs away from you. He just keeps spawning shit. Alright, so earthquake. Bring him down really low. I'm gonna kill these two. Alright. So I'm gonna get ready to swap here. But nice. But no way. Alright. Time to head over to the butcher area. What is that? They're like, I think we have 20 rares that are level 61 plus. I think we only have one level 63 item, and that's the Hellion crossbow. Something's wrong here. The nine pieces of gear isn't right. Okay, there we go. I think that's. Yeah, there we go. See what we have down here. Bring it on. We're getting pretty close to the butcher. It's about two more blue packs, or one blue, one yellow, and then we should be at the butcher. Let's hope our projectile doesn't kill him though.
Oh boy. We encounter that very quickly. Don't really have any cooldowns at the moment. Don't you just love being able to stand through all this shit as a barbarian? Oh, I think I might have spoken too soon. But uh, I think I'm pretty soon I'm going to start using Threatening Shout and Grim Harvest. Uh oh. I'm in trouble here. Stuck. Oh, nice. Healing well. Just because it increases the drop rate of items. So here we're. We've pretty much killed this. I should get out of here, to be honest. I don't know why I'm putting myself in a bad situation. Alright. Let's see what we got here. Diva, Deva. I don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so this area is like a dead end, but I'm just going to go here anyways because there's chests and there's tortured racks or item racks here, so there's always a chance for that to be a decent item. You never want to rule out that stuff. So that's clear. Now we're gonna check a little bit of here, and then we'll go top left. All right, so we know that's just the flame room, so there's nothing there. So let's go top left, and then we'll go back to the right, because that's probably where the butcher is, right here, I'm thinking is where he is. Yeah, he's over there, no doubt about it. Nice rubber banding. Oh, never mind, the butcher's over there. <laughs> Poor enchantress. He's gonna drop an earthquake here. Come and join the party, guys. Mm. 
I don't even know if I want to go check down there. I don't think there's going to be anything there, to be honest. But whatever, we'll just go check it. We just have to kill the butcher and then we're done this run anyway, so might as well. Thank you for telling me that. I did not know that. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, what? What? No, I don't need to check that. Yeah, that's that. That goes down that staircase. Cause look. Yeah, you go down and it's a staircase. There's no point in checking that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna kill the butcher. I'll repair and then go kill him. Kill the butcha, the butcha. Oops, time to repair. It's butcher slain time. So again, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use my two one-handers for this boss fight. So these are all 61, so 61. This is 62 as well. Ooh, never mind. Oh, we'll just put you up here. There we go. Okay, and the rest of this shit can be sold. So for this guy, I'm not going to bother using any of my cooldowns unless I absolutely have to, simply because I'm right at the butcher and I want to save my cooldowns for that fight. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? So yeah, I probably should have used my cooldowns. But I mean, whatever. The fuck? The fuck is going on? Oh, it's that electrified bullshit. That's what's going on. The fuck? Oh boy. I don't have my scream up or my shout. 
Jesus Christ, dude. Alright, so he's got one down. That electrified and the fact that they're cultists was the problem. Uh, the cultists, they hit way too fucking fast. Then the electrify and the arcane. Arcane, not so much because, I mean, I can dodge it so easily. Alright. Oh my goodness, dude. This guy just will not fuck off. Keeps popping his arcane bullshit. Better drop to level 62. The fuck? Mm, okay. Anyways, butcher killing time. So I swapped those two out for my deeps. Now if you want to, you can use your shield and you can just stand through all of his attacks. And then he does his little jump. All you have to do is move to the side a little bit. Like that, and just move to the side and dodge it. Other than that, man, like this boss fight is pretty, pretty funny. This is so easy for a barbarian. So we're just gonna move that. And we're gonna watch out for that little chain he does. He's gonna do another one pretty soon here. Oh, never mind, he's just gonna rush. So he's gonna do it again when you're out of his reach. So we're just gonna watch out for it like that. And he's gonna do another one, hope I think so. Nope. Uh oh. So yeah, he's gonna do another one here, so we're gonna watch out for it. There we go. There's the other one. So earthquake, dodge, move out of the flame. Oh, he, oh wow, that was really close. Wrath. This boss fight would be much quicker 
if I had better gear. Like better two handers, but I don't. But he should be dead here pretty soon. Dodge your shit. Oh fuck. The fuck did I mess up? Alright. Alright, fixed. Wow, he didn't drop shit. That's usually why people don't do this. I'm just gonna do all the blues just to sell them, so. Um, I think that's the end, isn't it? Yeah, this is the end. So we're done now. We're at the end of our road. If you want to, you can go to like the old ruins, the cathedral, kill the shit in all the cathedrals. You know, go to the fields of misery, kill those shits in there. But I don't want to do the entire act, so I just go up to here. Um, and oh, what the hell? I guess there's a timer on all that stuff that you put on the ground. It's all gone now. Uh, but anyways, why would anybody buy that unidentified? What a weirdo. Alright guys, now is the fun time. We are going to identify everything. The moment of truth. Time to see what the fuck we got. Um, this is just a level 60 item. Same for intelligence, blah blah blah. I don't know, I'll sell that for like 5k or something. Whatever. And that can be sold. Alright, so since I'm scared of dropping these items on the ground, I'm just gonna do these two rows at a time. So we'll put this shit in here. Alright, so we're starting with item level 61. Here you go, I love 60 months. Amulet. Let's see what we got here. Terrible. Terrible. And those will sell for. Those will sell for a uh, monk. Not a lot of vitality, but the resistance and dex. Probably sell for, for like 10k. I don't know. Arcane resistance uh, might sell for like 5k. Uh, nope. It's terrible. 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 Uh, okay. 68 strength. I mean, I guess some barbarian, like a retarded one, will probably buy that. Mm. 
It's a lot of vitality and a lot of crit chance, but it doesn't have a socket. 17 resistance, like... That will definitely sell to a monk. Okay, 241 strength, 73 vitality, socket, critical hit damage increased by 51, increased critical hit chance of size extend by 4%. That might sell, but I, I, I don't know. 235 strength, 57 vitality, that might sell as well. Again, not highly likely these items will sell, but I don't have anything to put on the auction, so I might as well just sell it if it'll sell for like 15k. I don't really care. 5k, no, it's not bad. Oh, I missed these two, didn't I? No, oh, never mind. All right, there you go. I am level 62 to 63. This will be the fun part. I n this is gonna have strength on it. I'm telling you. I just know it's gonna have strength on it. 103 strength, each it adds 560 life, 2%. Uh, this had more DPS, man. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna move over here, because I think there's a bug. If you have too much shit on your screen, everything will disappear. Hold on, let me find, there we go. All right. Hmm. That will definitely sell. Not sure for how much that won't. See, as a socket, so I might sell. Uh, level fifty-five. Someone on hell might use it, but it's very low because there's no socket. Very low chance that it would ever use that. This is terrible. Now, man, imagine if that 46 fire resistance was vitality. That would sell in a heartbeat. Um, but I still think this might sell. We'll see. Mm, that might very much. All right, here we go. Having crossbows, we got. Yeah, I told you. There you go. Strength, 49 strength, 150 intelligence. Told you. Shit. So bad. Uh, overall, loot's not bad, I guess. We got some gear that we might be able to sell, some gear we might not, but I mean, that was a pretty good run. Yeah, a couple items that we can sell on the auction house for a bit. So, if we do this for a couple days, for sure we'll get some good stuff that we can use. So, alright. What time is it? Oh, 3.20 a.m.? All right, guys, so I'm going to head off to bed. Um, this is my little guide here to show you guys how to farm Act 1 as a barbarian. Again, I'll show you my stats. They're buffed. You know, 800 resist, almost 1,000 arcane. Um, life per hit, 237. Magic find 77% 5 stacks, all that good stuff. So yeah, um, if you guys enjoy this video, subscribe. I'll make more guides for each act as I get to them. So I can show you guys some optimal ways on how to 
get some good gear. So yeah, um, I'm gonna head off to bed and uh, have a good one, guys. See you later.